First, familiarize yourself. Look at the detailed computer-generated installation plan to see where all elements should be positioned. Mark the position of the thermostat approximately 5 feet above the subfloor, protected from direct sunlight and drafts. Make a rectangular hole in the wall to mount a standard single gang electrical junction box for the thermostat. Drill a hole as close as possible to the subfloor in the sill plate to fish the cold leads up the wall and into the junction box. Run the conduits through the electrical junction box and mount it in the wall. Clean the subfloor. Make sure the subfloor is free from dust. Unwrap the heating cable and perform an insulation resistance test. Set your multimeter to the highest range. Connect the ground wire to the black lead and both power wires to the red lead of the multimeter. Make sure the meter reads OPEN or OL. Record these readings on the commissioning record. Set your multimeter to the 200 ohms range. Connect the multimeter leads to the black and white cold lead wires. Compare this resistance reading to the resistance specified in the product selection table on page 9. The value should be within plus minus 10%. Record these readings on the commissioning record. Set your multimeter to the 200K ohms range. Connect the multimeter leads to the sensor. Make sure the meter reads between 8 to 18 kilo ohms. Record these readings on the commissioning record. Position the cold lead of the cable as close as possible to the wall near the electrical junction box. Pull the cold lead up the wall and from that location just underneath the junction box where the thermostat will be positioned, begin to affix the Serapro heating cable around the guides at 3 inch intervals. If the cold lead is higher than the cable, you may need to create a notch in the floor to allow the splice to lay flat under the floor surface. Start the layout so that critical areas such as toe kicks in front of a sink will have tight coverage. Continue this until the heating cable is completely installed. Center the floor sensor between two cable runs. 
do not allow heating cable, cold lead, or floor sensor to cross over themselves or each other. Run the floor sensor inside the wall to the electrical junction box location. Set your multimeter to the highest range. Connect the ground wire to the black lead and both power wires to the red lead of the multimeter. Make sure the meter reads open or OL. Record these readings on the commissioning record. Set your multimeter to the 200 ohms range. Connect the multimeter leads to the black and white cold lead wires. Compare this resistance reading to the resistance specified in the product selection table on page 9. The value should be within plus minus 10%. Record these readings on the commissioning record. Set your multimeter to the 200K ohms range. Connect the multimeter leads to the sensor. Make sure the meter reads between 8 to 18 kilo ohms. Record these readings on the commissioning record. We suggest that you take a picture of the layout prior to pouring the mortar for future reference.